Two detectives conspired to rob citizens of tens of thousands of dollars and steal overtime. Today's guilty verdicts against them capped one of the biggest police corruption trials in Baltimore history. WJC investigator Mike Kelvin is live at the federal courthouse with extensive reaction. Mike? Vic, the police commissioner called their acts egregious and despicable. So many victims told us they thought no one would ever believe them that the cops had been stealing from them. Well, today, 12 jurors did. In fact, the only count on which these detectives were acquitted was one firearms charge. First Detective Graham, he pulled out the handgun and the cocaine. This is video from Baltimore City Detective Daniel Herzl's body camera on one of his last months on the job. He'll never be a cop again. A jury convicted Herzl and fellow Detective Marcus Taylor of racketeering and robbery charges, likely sending them to federal prison for decades for crimes they committed with six other officers on the Gun Trace Task Force, victimizing people across the city. It's, it's crazy because we're talking about, we're talking about cops. Somebody that's supposed to protect us, to protect us and you. Federal prosecutors say the dirty cops preyed on those they never thought would tell, stealing their cash, sometimes more. That was the business model for this uh, organization. They thought if you rob drug dealers, they have no place to go. Herschel had defenders, including his brother. Danny Herschel wasn't a part of this monster group. He wanted out. He wanted out right away. He cried right away, and he wanted out. He's devastated. He has absolutely no criminal record. And um, this is, he's been in jail now for close to 11 months. And he, quite frankly, was hoping that he would be coming home. Many declared the verdict the right one. Commissioner D'Souza said he had zero tolerance for corruption. The police union released a statement that no citizen is above the law. State's attorney Marilyn Mosby brushed aside criticism. Her office didn't do more to help victims and defended her record against corruption. It's also reminiscent of what we I kind of dealt with in some of the concerns in the Freddie Gray case. And unfortunately, we all know that Baltimore is in need of reform in the criminal justice system. With more names coming out at trial, the investigation isn't over. Neither is the effort to bring back trust in the police department. You're going to be caught, you're going to pay a price, and that's hopefully that's what this, if there is a message, uh, that's what we hope is the message of this case. These detectives had been suspended without pay. The police commissioner says he is moving to terminate them as quickly as possible. They face a maximum of 60 years each in federal prison compared to the 20 for most of those other officers in the Gun Trace Task Force who pleaded guilty and cooperated. Reporting live at the federal courthouse, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you. Sentencing is coming later, and the detectives will remain behind bars.